644 this morning, we're kicking off our great graduate series. And high school graduation will mark the end of some tough lessons for a local student, and not all of them were taught in the classroom. Life itself threw him a couple of curveballs. Trina Weber shows us how he overcame those obstacles and became this morning's great graduate. As he wraps up his final days within this building, Josiah Gonzalez already has his sights set on a few buildings in his future. I plan to go to UTSA to study the architecture. Next semester, this East Central High School senior will start building his career at the home of the Roadrunners. The road to get to this point, though, has been a bit rocky. I was really bottled up and I really didn't like show my emotion. He struggled to hold it together during one of the toughest times of his life. At the height of the coronavirus pandemic, Josiah lost his father to that illness. He was his sports mentor and biggest inspiration. Because of COVID, he had COVID, we couldn't really go in there. We couldn't, I wasn't able to see him. So that just really ate me up. Both he and his family suffered, being forced to keep their distance as his father lost his battle. As a result, Josiah's grades also suffered. His mother worried for a while that he wouldn't make it through. It was hard. But he came around, he came around and he's a great guy. While what he learned within these halls prepared Josiah for his future, life itself taught him some lessons that go beyond the classroom. For starters, he says he has had to do a lot of growing up and he ended up turning things around. Although this great graduate now feels ready for the world, he's still getting used to a world without his dad. I realized like he's not here and I'm not going to be able to celebrate this moment with him. But if I, if I could say something to him, I'd tell him that I miss him, and I just hope he's proud of me. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.